Hello. Welcome back to the Daily Yap. I just had a really nice day just doing client sessions. I had three client sessions today and it's been nice. But what I will say is that doing client sessions really does take it out of you. Every single Wednesday I do client sessions and every single Wednesday I tell myself, oh, I'm going to do some more like computer work after those sessions because my last session is always at one o'clock so I finish at like two which is when I'm recording this now and every week I'm like no bitch (laughs) the cool thing about being a practitioner and a consultant and like working with people one-on-one is like it is so fulfilling and so fun like I love these days because they I don't know they, they simultaneously feel easy and intense it's very very hard to explain but I just I love it but I cannot do anything else other than that other than just talk to clients like I can't get any space in my brain for anything else which is why I'm so happy that right now I don't feel the need to go on Instagram stories and like I don't know chat to my stories and engage with Instagram and make a TikTok because now I'm doing these and it's like if you want to know what's going on in my brain if you want to hear me yap if you want to chit chat one-sidedly chit chat then you can just watch this and that was like one of the other reasons I didn't mention yesterday as to why I wanted to do this purely from like a sustainable content strategy quote unquote if you will I am really getting over this thing that social media asks us to like be constantly engaging with it like stop telling me what to do do you know what I mean like it feels like you're telling me that I have to be here and be there and like that's the opposite of freedom to me and freedom is always been like a core value of mine for sure and also I had a matrix of destiny reading a couple of months ago and this year is a 22 year in numerology for me and 22 is all about freedom and so I've been really focusing on that I've been really thinking about how I can create more freedom and this is one of the ways that I'm going to do it like I don't plan on yapping on stories anymore also it feels kind of rude that I know by no fault of their own just by the way the app is and I think maybe how tired we are as users of it that everyone's just pumping through their stories now I love stories but if I'm going to say something on stories, like you better listen. If I'm going to open my mouth, you best be listening. You know what I mean? And so I'd rather you just sit here and like hear it. I just feel like people who really want to hear it will come here and listen rather than me just putting it out. It almost feels like you're like degrading your own thoughts by like putting it there. Like that's how it started to feel for me. That's why I love podcasting because it's like this person is just, is opting in and deciding to listen to me speak about this thing and obviously me as the creator I have a responsibility I use that word very loosely but there's an expectation where like I'm going to create a title or a thumbnail not so much a thumbnail but like a title that's going to entice you to come and listen so you know what it's about whereas like these again it's just a yap it's a ramble um So yeah, I I really do think that Instagram is like not dead. It's definitely not dead, but it's on life support because the landscape has changed. Maybe not landscape, but like the utilization of that app has changed. We're all just sending funny things to our friends on Instagram, right? Like I don't feel like we're like 
even really following people that much on Instagram. I would much rather subscribe to someone's YouTube channel or their podcast or their Substack if I really want to follow them because I don't feel like I'm actually getting them on Instagram and it's not because they're not being authentic. How can we even really truly be authentic on stories or Instagram because of just the filter that it inevitably places on our expression when we express ourselves on those apps but it's also like you can't really go deep like you can't like I can't really get to know you on Instagram I can maybe see like what you're eating for lunch I can maybe see um something that you are finding funny and that's cool like I love a bit of surface like I think you can show a lot of personality through Instagram I love shit posting more than the next person truly I love it um however I can't like if I want more from you it's actually hard for you to give it to me through Instagram now and also just like the algorithm serves up shareable content it doesn't share like it doesn't serve like thought-provoking or even like educational content anymore it's more clickbaity it's more it's honestly like what like YouTube used to be when it first came out and it's kind of mimicking Facebook right where it's just like funny memes and funny videos literally Postal Journal was talking about this in his video today that like we all just like see these like horrific, fugly, crazy, weird stuff. And we're all just like secretly DMing it to our friends. And literally I heard on Insta, on um, Colin and Zamir's podcast, YouTube, they had the CEO of Instagram, you know, the guy, I can't remember what his name is, uh, on their podcast. And he literally said like, we want you to create content that people are sending in the DMs. So they don't want you to create content that people will double tap on. They don't want you to create content that people will comment on. They want you to share it, uh, in the DMs. That's the best or share it on stories. Like they just want you to share it. And like right now, all we're sharing is like fucked up dogs and like Siamese twins. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of become this freak show and I kind of mean that in like the grossest way. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sharing things, of course, that are like weird and crazy. But like a lot of us are sharing things that like if someone saw what we were sharing, that would be spooky. That would be so spooky if someone saw what was in your DMs and what you were DMing to your husband and your best friend and into the group chat, correct? I think so. So that's why I think Instagram's on life support because especially for, for personal brands, don't ask me why I've got this pointer now. It's my iPad pen. I think for personal brands, I think for brands and for businesses – it's popping because it's a great thing for community. It's a great place to sell. But if you're selling like as a person, so if you're like a practitioner or a consultant, it kind of feels weird. We want to hear from these sort of like faceless meme accounts or brands. Um, And then obviously with brands, it's great because you can create ads. The ads are really, really high converting on Instagram. Um, I've worked with people who who have seen really, really good numbers and really good stuff from that. Like it's doing really well there. So I think like that's why I decented myself from my business. And like now I just do like personal brand stuff and then I have the EE, which is the podcast. And then, you know, we're in product development right now for some new things coming out either like later this year or early next. And I have JB House and I don't, I mean, it's a service provide like it's I'm a consultant there um I have nothing on that Instagram yet 
but I am probably just going to make a static feed and then like repost the work that we do in stories and like promote on there. It's just really a place when people hear about me and think they want to hire me that they can like search me on Instagram and it's like kind of like a pseudo website. Like that's how I'll be using it. And I think that like that's kind of how you have to use it if you are a consultant or a practitioner or just turn your business into its own brand I don't know like I hope you know what I'm saying right like it's for for people for for influencers for personalities like I think they're all starting to migrate over to Substack back to YouTube um even TikTok's a little bit better but again I don't like TikTok in the sense that like the community that you build isn't like loyal like the following that you build isn't loyal where it was on Instagram I think it still is to a certain degree but it's kind of hard to get people in now really easy to nurture for sure but it's kind of harder to get people in if you're just like a person and you want to have a personal brand and yeah personal brand is kind of king right now so yeah I think that's all I have for you those are my thoughts And that's it. Rock on.